find the square root of 19 to find the square root by long division method for that first we should frame it in this way c that is 19 okay next now here we have 19 19 is not a perfect square number so now we should check 19 lies between which two perfect square numbers perfect square numbers are these that is 2 into 2 4 3 into 3 9 4 into 4 16 5 into 5 25 and it goes on these numbers are called perfect squares here we have 19 19 lies between these two numbers so we should take the smaller number that is 16 16 is for 4 4 16 so we take 4 here 4 here, 16 here. Now you subtract. 19 minus 16 is 3. Now here we should add these two numbers and write here. So 4 plus 4 is 8. Now I should write a number here. But when I write a number here, then this number will be smaller than this. So normal division what we used to do, we used to put a decimal and take 0 here. But over here we should take two zeros. While finding the square root we should take two zeros. It's a rule, remember that. Next. Now here I have to write a number. Condition is whatever number I write here, here also I should write the same number. And also, when you multiply this number and this number, then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this, but not larger than this. Okay, so let us find the number here. If I take 2, I should also multiply by 2. These two numbers should be same. So 2 into 2, 4. 2 into 8, 16. This is far from 300. If we take 4, 84 into 4. 4, 4 is 16. 6, 1. 4, 8 is 32 plus 1, 33. This is exceeding. So we should take 3. So 3, 3 is 9. 3, 8 is 24. So we take this number, this is present for 3 and 3. So 3 here, 3 here, here 249. Now you subtract. So 2, 9, 10. 10 minus 9, 1, 9 minus 4, 5, 2 minus 2, 0. Here we should add these two numbers and write. 83 plus 3 is 86. Now we should write a number here. But when I write the number here, then this number will be smaller than this. We already have a decimal. So you directly take two zeros. While finding the square root, we should take two zeros. Next. We should write a number here. Condition is Whatever number we write here, here also we should write the same number. And also, when you multiply this number and this number, then the resulting number should be either smaller to this or equal to this, but not larger than this. Okay, so let us find the number here. What if I take 6? 866 you should also multiply by 6 these two numbers should be same so 6 into 6 36 so 6 3 
6 into 6, 36 plus 3, 39. So 9, 3. 6 into 8, 48 plus 3, 51. So this is exceeding 5100. So we should take 5 into 5. 5 into 5, 25. So 5, 2. 5, 6, 30 plus 2, 32. So 2, 3. 5, 8, 40 plus 3, 43. If we take 6, it is exceeding. So we should take 5 itself. So take 5 here, 5 here and here. 4, 3, 2, 5. Now you subtract. So 0, 9, 10. 10 minus 5, 5. 9 minus 2, 7. Here 4, 10. 10 minus 3, 7. And here I should add these two numbers and write. 865 plus 5 is 870. Now we should now we should write a number here but when i write the number here then this number will be smaller than this we already have a decimal so you directly take two zeros now we should write a number here condition is whatever number you write here here also you should write the same number and also when you multiply this number and this number, then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this, but not larger than this. So let us find the number here. 8000 here, 77000. If we take 8 here, that is 8708. We should also multiply by 8. These two numbers should be same. 8, 8, 64. So 4, 6. 8 into 0 is 0 plus 6 is 6. 8 into 7, 56. So 6, 5. 8 into 8, 64 plus 5, 69. What if we take 9? 8, 7, 0, 9 into 9. 9 into 9, 81. So 1, 8. 9 into 0, 0 plus 8 is 8. 9 into 7, 63. So 3 here, 6 here. 9, 8, 72 plus 6, 78. This number is exceeding. So we should take smaller number that is this. This is for the number 8. So you take 8 here, 8 here and here 6, 9, double 6, 4. Now you subtract and it goes on. It is enough if we take up to three decimal places. So the square root of 19 is this one. That is 4.358 and it goes on. This is our answer. Am I? Clear?